Hi everyone, how's it going? This is my first YouTube video as a monetized YouTube creator. So, uh, so, what better way to start off with than a Spongebob video? Because I've been a Spongebob fan my whole life, literally, because Spongebob came out like a couple months before I was born. So, I've always known Spongebob. The Spongebob movie, the first one, is arguably my favorite movie. There's a couple movies that I've been way up there, and it's up there, just because I love Spongebob. And I was going to put a Spongebob shirt on for this video, but it's still kind of cold around here, so I don't have very many short sleeve shirts out, and most of my Spongebob shirts, well, I guess all of my Spongebob shirts are short sleeve. And I guess all of them are in storage. Today was the launch of Paramount Plus, and then they they put out SpongeBob Sponge on a Run. This movie has been out in other countries, which I don't think is fair because like it's an American cartoon, so I don't think it's fair that other countries got to watch it before us. I'm very upset. I didn't get to see it in theaters, so we'll just start talking about the movie. This is the third SpongeBob movie. This one is full CGI. It's different. I, I like. I don't understand why they went CGI instead of just classic TV because SpongeBob is just classic TV. But I respect them for when they did the CGI, they did it differently. It looks different than anything I've ever seen. Like Sandy, you can tell she's like really textured. Her fur, her helmet has like scratches on it. Patrick's pants, like his his swim trunks, like the detail on them, like. The graphics were actually really good. At first, it was kind of weird looking, but I got used to it. And the movie, it was fun. It was really, it had some really funny stuff in it. And there was one time I was like crying. I can't remember what joke it was. You know, it's not as good as the first one. And I don't think it's as good as the second one either. I think this is probably the weakest of the three because let me just give you like the, uh, the rundown of what happens. Gary gets snail nap so spongebob and patrick embark on this journey to go get him which happens to be in the lost city of atlantis they get there and you can only imagine when spongebob and patrick show up in atlantis that there's gonna be some trouble so that's pretty much what goes down without getting too much into it i don't want to ruin it for anybody there's something just kind of lacking they went they went into like the real world kind of a little bit not necessarily because it was like a dream but it was like live action there for a little bit and it just seemed like a wasted time like at first it was funny and like with the whole Keanu as the tumbleweed but then like once they go into the bar like all the zombies and like what's actually going on and it seemed like that part lasted like a good like 15 minutes maybe it felt like it at least I mean like the last movie went full like they went live action but like Spongebob and them were still cartoonish and there was like it was interesting like they were like they were superheroes taking down the bag of salt the secret formula this time they're just in a dream about and they walk in this bar with some like zombie pirates or something and there's like some like demon guy that's like has captive their souls or something and they're just like what the heck is this like i just don't i just like watching that part i, just, I don't understand at the end like spongebob gets held prisoner and they're about to execute him and everyone like stands up for him but we, we all know Spongebob's a good guy. So like, I don't get why they spent like 10 minutes. I do know why, I'm about to get into that. But like, there's like a good like 10, 15 minutes of like the characters explaining to this guy about how good a person Spongebob is. It's like, we all know this. Like you don't have to explain that to us. I mean, I guess you can explain it to him, but I feel like we didn't have to hear everyone's story, which some of them were funny, but here's the reason why. Because every time they would say something, it would flash back to Camp Coral, the spinoff. So it was a big setup for Camp Coral in that aspect. But that just kind of takes away from the third act isn't as good because like it's just supposed to be like, it's like full of like emotion instead of like what a SpongeBob movie should be filmed with. And also, Plankton's not the bad guy, which you know he's kind of like good and bad goes good and bad. But it starts off and he's like bad. You know, he's evil, trying to take the formula. 
and then something happens, and then he just decides that he's just gonna help them. Usually when he helps them, he has like a selfish thing against it, but this, like, I think, unless I just like tuned out towards the end, which I might have because I got a tooth pulled today, so I'm on medication. So if I make it through these videos, I'm gonna be doing good. But it's like, did Plankton just become a good guy? Also, like, did they just end SpongeBob? Because, like, I don't know. I think the 12th season just ended. And now we got, like, a Squidward show, a Patrick show, and Camp Coral. And just the way this movie ended, I'm like, did they just end SpongeBob? Because, like, I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't like the way they, like, the way they tied everything up. Because, like, at the end of the movie, like, everyone just, like, has pet snails. And, like, like you're supposed to care. But it was a funny movie. They had some really funny stuff in it. Tom Kenny and Bill Figurebake, is how you say that, I think. They, I mean, they've been doing it for years, SpongeBob Patrick, but their chemistry is so good. Also, they sidelined the characters, like Squidward, Mr. Krabs, Sandy, Plankton. They get like sidelined hard, like they're barely in it. I think Keanu Reeves has more screen time than them. And Keanu Reeves is a tumbleweed. What? Why? Don't understand. In my opinion, it is the weakest of the three. But I'm definitely still gonna buy it. You know, if Paramount Plus puts their stuff out, I will. But I mean, I'm not trying to like, sit here and diss it. I did have a good time watching it because I, I am a SpongeBob fan. I mean, I'm sure there's some people that were like, you know, because because of Camp Coral, like, the whole like conflict with like him meeting Sandy and like, other things that. I'm just like, this is stupid. They, they messed up Spongebob. I'm not gonna watch this anymore. Turn it off. I just like, like, what? Spongebob episodes, like, they don't necessarily, like, connect, you know? They're pretty episodic, I guess is the word. The movies can be that way, because if you're looking at it that way, they've also already been to Atlantis, because the Atlantis were Pantis. Not everything's connected, you know? But there are some callbacks. I mean, when Plankton has, like, a wall of failure or something and you see like the robot that he tried to put SpongeBob's brain in and then they reference the Patty Mobile which in the first movie was called the Patty Wagon I think but it's like the it's the Patty Mobile from the first movie and Squidward even was like what this piece of crap he didn't say crap he said this piece of junk but then oh no but this and they like they turned like a sub essentially and like so I'm just saying don't not watch it because of continuity errors, because it's Spongebob, so just don't be like that. I feel like I've said just about everything I want to say about it. I want to say more positive things, because I feel like I'm coming off as negative, but I did enjoy it. I really did. Had a fun time. I also watched the first episode of Camp Coral, and I'm about to do a review for that, too. So, you can check that out, because it will be posted around the same time it's posted. I'll post this first. I think that's my review for the SpongeBob movie, Sponge on a Run. If you have questions, some I didn't touch on, comment, I'll answer. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.